Hi everybody, I'm back home. Um, I'm no longer in China and I'm broadcasting this little video today for you from my studio. So um, I guess I just wanted to uh, talk to you guys about what to do during slow season because I know that this is a slow time for a lot of us. Um, and I've written some articles about different things that you can do on the blog, which you can find if you search around. Um, but um, I really wanted to talk about why photography is a seasonal job. I think a lot of photographers who are newer come into this assuming that to be successful you need to be doing one photo shoot a day or one photo shoot a week or this many per month. And I really like to look at it as an overall goal for the whole entire year and figure out how much I should be doing in a year's time in order to make the money I need to live. Because with photography there is a time of year where business is definitely slower and that's usually in the winter um the closer we get to the holidays for me every year the slower things get because usually people have to finish their holiday photos pretty early in the fall so i can get them back to people but i just want to say that um if you're under the impression that that you should be photographing at least one session a day or at least one session a week um, just slow down your thoughts and think about how many you would want to do per year because um, one session per day is actually quite a lot and is more than I think most even some of the most successful photographers in the world don't photograph that often so I would not make that your business goal but um, there are times where I have four photo shoots a week and then there are times where I have no photo shoots for a whole month and so there's no right or wrong answer but what I do know is that this is a business where it's really spread out and oftentimes my busiest times of year are a certain time of year and then other times of year I don't have anything happening. Um, so there are a lot of things though that you can do to help your business grow during those down times where you're not taking photos. Um, a lot of people take that time to revamp their business, to build a new website, upgrade things, come up with some new ideas, or sometimes we have really big projects that we've been working on as photographers that we want to get done. And, you know, when you're in your busy season, you're editing photos and all of that, you don't always have time to um, tackle those big projects. For me, during the off season, I spend a lot of time marketing. That's when I book my clients and I'm usually taking deposits so that I can still have income even when I'm not working. Um, I spend a lot of time meeting with my clients, um, helping them prep for their weddings or prep for their sessions. I also take time during the down seasons to travel for myself. As you guys know, I just went to China. So um, doing something that's fun for me is really important too. Um, but I also travel and I go to photography conferences so that I can take the opportunity to learn as much as I can. Because being a business owner is all, always about um, being ready for change and being ready to try new things. Even though um, sometimes things seem to work out okay, I always want to make sure that I'm learning and practicing new techniques so um, I can always be making my business better. So I read a lot more books this time of year. Um, in a month, I'm going to the Show It United conference in Santa Barbara where I'm going to get to shoot and learn some great business techniques. I'm also going to go to the WPPI conference in March in Las Vegas where I'll take some classes and learn some new things, network and meet some new photographers because that's all a really good thing for me to be doing for my business and for myself. Um, another thing that I like to do during this off season is um, I'm always striving to work out a better way to manage my time so that I work less and I make more money per hour so that I have more time to do all the fun things that I really like. Um, so working on time management, I'll make a lot of schedules and um, practice better workflows and um, come up with different ideas of how I can edit faster, take classes on editing faster, and Finally, I usually take this time of year to spend more time with my family and friends because I know that during the summers, you know, all my family and friends have Monday through Friday 8 to 5 jobs, which means they're typically only available to hang out with me on the weekends. And weekends are typically when people have their weddings or when people are available to do their photo shoots. So that means that I don't always get to see everybody I love as often as I would like. So 
making sure that I spend time with my family this time of year is definitely really important. Um, so I just wanted to talk to you guys about that today. Um, tell you a little bit about what you can be doing this time of year and I guess I will see you guys next time um, next week's video blog thanks for tuning in